Hoping to crawl her way to victory this week is fitness fanatic Anna McNally. I absolutely love CrossFit. I love being in an environment where everybody is so competitive. And I always try and make sure that I get top five, if not number one. Good job, Anna. Well done. Good stuff. Keep going. I would say my style of cooking is a solid ten. I mean, sometimes I've been mistaken for Gordon Ramsay. You're f joking. Awesome. Good job. I would say I'm definitely a people's person. I love meeting new people, and I'll take them as they are. OK. So I'm loud, bubbly. I'm like a bottle of pop ready to fizz. Meet Fizzing Valley's sensation beauty therapist, Claire Phillips. So when I walk in the room, um, people probably go, wow, but not always in a good way. So I'm just finger rolling down to the scapula area. I think it's important to be happy, because life's too short, to be miserable and serious. Plenty of time for that when you're old and you're dead. Well, I look forward to that. Back with today's host, and Anna's kicking off with her very own fizz for her bubble and sweet. Raspberry and champagne posset with a surprise. I have absolutely no idea what a posset is, but no doubt I'll smash it into me. Well, there's lovely. Next to join the party is footy mad Scott Brown. Yeah, one of my big passions is football. Now I've stopped playing, I've taken up the whistle, so I'm a referee now. Um, it's the lesser of two evils. He was either go shopping with the missus on a Saturday or go and get abuse refereeing. That was never offside, you absolute! I think what I might do this week is take my cards, my yellow and reds, just, uh, just in case things do get heated. And then, at least if I give them a yellow, they're on a warning. Second yellow, then they're gone. That's the red. God. Anna blitzes her bubbles and raspberries and adds the mix to some warm cream and sugar. Yes, I've smashed it. Get in there! She decants into ramekins, and they're in to chill. I'm not sure what the posset is. I should know. You should. Next up is restaurant owner Giovanni Malacrino. So I'm very energetic, very positive. I've got amazing self-esteem. Hey, you missed that. Hello, Giovanni. What's How this name? My food knowledge is 100%. Apart from possets? I know it tastes good. I know it tastes bad. What's your name? Sophie, Sofia Lorraine, that's a famous Italian name, isn't it? <laughs> Regarding faults, uh, I've got no faults. I think. I believe. Back in the kitchen and on to A surprise. A stands for Anna. And? Awesome. And? Amazing. And? Adventurous. And? Ambitious. And aardvark. I don't know what that means. Oh, dear. Anna rolls out a shortbread mix, cuts shapes and bakes. It's on to the main. Slow-cooked lamb shank with a red wine jus and dauphinoise potatoes. I love lamb shank. And I love dauphinoise potatoes. Next to join our flock is singing sensation and local posho, Charlotte Whitlock. When people first meet me, they do think that I'm a little posh uh, for the way that I speak. So somebody for example, from the valleys, would think I was very posh. They probably would even think I was related to the Queen. Yes, Mum. It's not a bad thing if I have somebody from the valleys at my dinner party, as long as they know how to use their knife and fork. What a thing to say! Yes. Back in the kitchen, Anna seals her lamb shanks with great care. Well, the smell is not great. The luck is not great. Let's hope the slow cooker transforms them into something amazing. She makes her red wine jus and adds it to the meat, along with onions, herbs and stock. Yes, come on. My dauphinoises are mainly potatoes. Never! She chops her spuds and lobs them into a pan of cream and garlic. If I get this in, I'm going to win this week. Yes, get in. Woo! I hope you're going to clean that up. She assembles her mostly potato potatoes and they're in to bake. Starter next. OMP. Scallops and chorizo on a pea puree. I love scallops and I love chorizo. And I love peas. Put them together, not too sure. OMP. So. Does that mean they're like, um, like an official person? No, that's VIP. In the kitchen, Anna boils and blitzes her peas before prepping her scallops and sampling her sausage. Tastes like 
a night out in Benidorm. Is that a good thing? That's a really good thing. Oh, great! She'll fry her scallops and chorizo once her guests have arrived. That's all my prep done. I'm feeling excited and it's time to get ready. Well, don't dilly-dally. Your guests are on their way. 